Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. It's the Philadelphia 76ers and the Toronto... Now a look at Philadelphia's... Star Starting lineup. They've got Jones. Richardson is out there with Cheeks. And it's Malone. And it's Irving in at the three slot. Defensively, that possession better not start a trend because they just handed him two points. Carter outside. Shoots. And it's off the back rim. No good. Not really sure what he was thinking about on that shot. That is not high IQ basketball. Not at all. I mean, he shouldn't even have considered taking that shot. Just a poor, poor choice there. Here's Bogues. After Julius Irving's basket, Bogues kicks to Carter. From the arc. No luck. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. It's three on three on the fast break. Here's Cheeks. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. So yeah, how about the body control on that one? Narrowly misses getting the deuce. Boy, he had a nice look at it after after drawing the foul. Boy, it would have been nice to get an and one there. Cheeks hits them both. He's always been extremely reliable at the line, and today's been no different. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Sure could, Kev. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some points. Back to Davis. It's deflected. To the middle. Nice finish inside by the 6-3 Richardson. Off to a nice start here. They've hit all three from the field. And the Raptors off to a slow start. Eight-point game. Pass to McGrady. He kicks it to Davis. And it's good. And now that the seal is broken, maybe their shooting will start to improve. Yeah, I don't think they really wanted to have as cold a start as they did. Uh, but maybe that'll break the ice and they'll move forward in fine fashion from here. Here's Cheeks. After the Raptors pick up two. Screened by Malone. Irving against Carter. And he uses the glass on the layup. Irving's got his second basket of the game. Four makes on four tries. Everything's falling early. 100% can't do better than that. A shot by McGrady. No good. Offensively, one of four to start. They're still trying to find their stroke. To the inside. Carter with the block. Fast break, Toronto. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? I was able to catch up with the head coach of the 76ers. We talked about their strategy defensively, going up against such an explosive offense. He said, well, we've done our advanced scouting. We know where it is they like to get their shots and where they're most effective. The challenge is taking that information and using it out on the court. It's a great test for our players, and I'm eager to see how they respond. It'll be fun for us to watch, Kevin. Great. Thank you, Doris. So a little bit worried about containing the opposing offense today. It was a lot to be worried about. I mean, they're not an easy opponent to face because of that offense. That's exactly right. I mean, they have to be on their game defensively if they're going to keep pace in this one. Curry against Cheeks. Malone with the screen. Richardson kicks to Jones. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Richardson against McGrady. The 10-footer. Jump shot is good that time. I like the recognition of the mismatch there, immediately making the defense pay. Cheeks kicks to Malone. Wants to get it to Irving and does. And he gets it to go. Irving's got six. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Yeah, they're lasered in. I mean, really making the most of their possessions. Now, here is McGrady. 
shoots from the baseline and good got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim i tell you what guys it's going to be a tough day on this defense and he's got the a game rolling tonight cheeks the pass to jones screen by malone richardson against carter it's deflected and here comes McGrady leading the fast break. Tries from 10. Julius Irving comes up with the rebound. Philadelphia leading by six. Here's Cheeks. And he floats one. Easy to see who's going to win that race. Yeah, early offense is often easy offense. Excellent work that time. So timeout called here. The first for Toronto. Yeah, it looks like he saw some things out there that, that need to be adjusted. And he's going to take a break here and talk it over. Hey, you know, coaches sometimes need a break in the action to rethink and retool a bit. Anytime you, you're in that situation, it makes sense to use the timeout. Here's what Toronto's going with right now. Willis, he checked in for Davis. Oakley comes in for McGrady. Christie's checked in for Curry. And it's Brown in for Bowes. A shot's good from Irving. Excellent ball movement there, guys. And that's keyed this run. Passing it with purpose, the D hasn't been able to keep up. Here's Willis to the paint. Here's Oakley, and it's thrown down hard with both hands. And really nothing like a good old-fashioned throwdown to get a team going. And, Greg, they do need to get going. They wouldn't mind, you know, shaving a couple more points off that lead right away. Well, if the defense keeps giving up easy baskets like that, it won't be a lead for long. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. Raptors trail by eight. Oakley a screen on Cheeks. Brown the pass to Christie. Shoots from the line. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Here's Cheeks. He feeds it to Richardson. Outside Irving. Irving double team. Six on the shot clock. Cheeks kicks to Irving. The 76ers need to get off a shot. Richardson, no luck. And not the best shot right there with a good defender draped all over you. I agree with you. I mean, not the shot they were hoping for, but he can really cause problems with his defense. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. The 76ers have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. And the first one at the line is good. So after making the first, he goes one for two. Toronto trailing. And stolen by Irving. Pass to Cheeks. Carter with the block. It's two on one. It's hauled in by Richardson. And you can see the defender's afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. And Charles Oakley out there with the slam. And that's how you make a steal count. Turn it into a quick slam at the other end. It was really a case. It looked like Greg Anthony right there, if I, if I can say so. It was really a case of a great defensive play triggering some instant offense. Yeah, I remember G.A. as an irritant. And this guy, much like Greg, creating havoc out there. Johnson, he's checked in for Moses Malone. Here's Johnson. Oakley with some nice D. Raptors trail by seven. Here's Christie. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. The Raptors shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. He's off on the first. Raptors, Doug Christie. Taking two shots. And he's good on the second. Here's Cheeks. 114 left here in the opening quarter. Dishes it to Irving. Fades and shoots. And off the front iron. And in it goes. Irving's got 11 points. And how about the bounce pass? They are being used to perfection. Out to Carter. From deep. Can't get it to go. And Philadelphia the other way now. Cheeks the pass to Richardson. 35 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Ball. 
So it's Toronto now. And it's Carter penetrating. Boy, oh boy, to be young again. My, oh my. You got me thinking back to my days. Oh, yeah, right. It does make you nostalgic, doesn't it? Oh, well, man. speak for yourself, because I, I could never throw it down like that. But I will say, it sure looks fun, doesn't it? Phenomenal alley-oop slam right there, guys. They're taking advantage, Clark, of a team that looks lost out there. <laughs> guys, this one is threatening to get really ugly. And that's some inspiration. Steals, blocks, and a big dunk. Those are ways that you can really change the momentum in a game. Well, they got to chip away, Clark, at that deficit, and no doubt that'll help. And that's what he's out there for, guys. I mean, he is an electrifying player, no doubt. And the first quarter is in the books. Second about ready to get underway. And looking at what we've seen from the 76ers, what do you guys think? It's been about the pace. You can see they're going to try to keep this game in the open floor. Yeah, and you know, it's been a tempo that they like, and they're getting some easy buckets in transition here. Curry is out there with Bogues. Then there's Christie. Then it's Tracy McGrady. And it's Davis in at the five. Down low. That's the group for Toronto to start the second quarter. The Raptors have converted one of two free throws so far today. That's his first first and he makes the first. And so he makes both from the line. And so here is Philadelphia. They've led by as much as 10. Richardson dishes to Jones. Here's Cheeks. Right through the D for the layup. Cheeks has got six. How about the way he's able to angle his body to shield the big fella off and still get the finish? You've got to be clever with your sleight of hand when you get inside and try to finish against the bigger guys. And he made it, he, he made it look easy that time. And it's going to be a three-second call. Philadelphia leading by six. Richardson kicks to Irving. Now the dish to Jones. Good ball movement here by the 76ers. Here's Cheeks. A second chance effort. Great tee that time from Davis. And, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Here's Irving. And it's blocked. And it goes out of bounds. Uh, last touch by Irving. Brown, he's checked in for Cheeks. Brown against Bobes. Malone with the block. And now the fast break. Irving with the ball. That bucket by Clint Richardson. The second rounder out of Seattle University. And we'll get a look at how the hustle stat game has been going for the 76ers. Well, in the first half of play, they're closing out aggressively blocking shots. A key indicator of their activity on the defensive side. They also came out of the locker room with their running shoes on. I mean, their transition game has been full throttle. And now the 76ers on the break. And it's Brown missing. And that's the way you want to defend. Nice job there. Always important to have that good interior defense. Just not much success when it comes to shooting. Richards in the pass to Brown. There's the pick. The screen from Brown. Richardson against Bogues. Five on the clock. On its way from Irving for two. It's hauled in by the Raptors. They really want to find that igniter. He's been running in place. They got to get it going. Brown outside. Outside Irving. Moses Malone doing some damage with the dunk. Boy, he threw out some punishment with that two-hand throwdown. And, and Clark, now's the time to do it. Continue to attack that rim. You can't be pleased with all these easy looks. They continue to give up there in the paint. No, I'm sure he's not, Greg. I mean, their defense is showing a lot of holes, especially down low. That's unacceptable. Davis dishes to McGrady. That's in there. Davis with the assist. McGrady's got seven points. 
I tell you what, it's, it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. Solid, solid work on the back end of that play. Yeah, finish hard with two hands on the stuff. Yeah, nothing extravagant, guys, but again, no need on that one. Now, here's Bowes. There's the feed to Richardson. Looks good, is good. Bucket number four from the field. He's taken only six shots. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Yeah, they have really owned the interior. You've got to collapse that defense and force them to beat you over the top. Here's McGrady. Seven points in the game. Here's Irving. What a jam by Dr. J. And now that's how you start a fast break and how you finish it. And here's Bowes. Down low, McGrady. And down it goes, jamming that one home. Nothing fancy there. Didn't need it. Nope. His only concern right now, Clark, is getting the points on the board, and I don't mean style points. I like the simplicity. <laughs> well, there's also style just with the fact that he's able to have that kind of a finish, though. Still, I like that pretty one-handed flush. And this collapse we've seen by their interior defense, it's really the reason why they've struggled and are in such a hole. Pass to Davis. From 12 feet out, rebound Malone. Malone's got four rebounds now tonight. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. And Toronto will go for a different look here. Oakley, he's checked in for Davis. Willis comes in for McGrady. Vince Carter, he's checked in for Christie. And it's Brown in for Bowes. Then for the 76ers, Johnson comes in for Malone. And it's Johnson in for Jones. Now, here is Irving. 14 points, their largest lead in the game. I'm a fan of anybody who defends that way. I mean, they weren't about to open the door and just allow him to cruise in for a layup. The Raptors have gone three of four at the free throw line tonight. That one is off. At the line from the Raptors, Vince Carter. And he sinks the second. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach, driving and drawing, initiating contact, create opportunities, get to the line. Yeah, I like everything you said there, because when all else fails, if you can get to the strike, that's really a good way to change the momentum in the game because you get points and you also slow down the opponent because the game isn't going up and down as much. Here's Brown. Another miss by Philadelphia. Raptors trail by 13. Here's Carter. Scores for only the second time tonight. Now two for six from the field. If you're waiting for him to miss when he's that open, you're going to be in for a long wait. Irving attacking. It's deflected, but they'll get another chance. Johnson with a screen on Brown. And he finishes nicely on the layup. And the 76ers lead by 13. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. And, you know, it doesn't matter how good your defense is on the perimeter if you're going to allow easy ones inside like that. Sheik's checked in for the 76ers. Now, here's Brown. Willis with a screen on Cheeks. Brown kicks to Willis. No good off the pick. Good pick, but he, he just couldn't make it count. Yeah, nice job of setting the screen by his teammate there. And I'm sure he appreciated it. That drive by Carter. There it is, his third basket. He's taken seven shots to get those three. And when the size advantage is as big as it was there, I mean, that's exactly what he's supposed to do in that situation. Cheeks the pass to Johnson. From 10 feet out, good. Johnson's got his first two points. Picture perfect with the turnaround. There's no stopping that shot. Raptors trail by 13. Feeds to Oakley. On the wing, Brown. Kicks to Carter. To the middle. Deflects the pass. And here we go. Richardson heading to the hoop. Carter with the block. And they'll keep possession. 
Now Brown. 54 seconds left in the first half. The rebound by Johnson. And that's the way you want to defend. Nice job there. Always important to have that good interior defense. He's always going to have a difficult time finishing when the defense is in his face like that. Carter right side. Gets it to go from 18 feet away. Carter's got seven points here in this quarter. Boy, they are passing the ball very crisply right now. They really are, and their last three buckets have come by way of an assist. Johnson the scream. Here's Irving. That's in there, Johnson with the assist. Irving's got 19 points. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. You got to keep getting him touches. Carter kicks to Oakley. It's stolen by Johnson. Here's Cheeks. Fires the three. He got it up that time. So we've reached the end. And as we welcome you back, we begin our second half. So far, not a tightly contested game, guys. But, you know, anything can happen. Complete domination. What a game for Irving. He's got 19 points, and he's stolen the ball four times. No idea we see a performance like this. This one today. The only way to describe it in my vocabulary is dominance. So on the floor for Philadelphia, we've got Irving. Jones is out there at Malone. Then there's Richardson, and it's Cheeks in at the point guard position. Raptors trail by 15. Curry outside, and that one's good. Curry's got the first bucket of the third here for the Raptors. And that's another assist for a team that is putting on a clinic on how to share the ball. And I love the mentality that they've had. If a shot isn't there, they're not forcing it. They're moving it side to side until they finally get the one they want. Here's Malone. No good. Now Toronto takes it the other way. Vince Carter the bucket on the assist by Curry. And that's now 11 points for Vince Carter. Philadelphia leading by 10. The pass to Malone. Shot is off. And out of the gates here in this second half, they have not started well. 0 of 3. Carter, that's good. In the mid-range, rarely the hallmark of efficiency in today's NBA, but it is on point tonight. It sure is, Greg. It might be the strongest aspect of their offense here. Here's Jones following the score by Vince Carter. There's a good screen. Screen by Malone. Cheeks the pass to Malone. Oh, and that one had the right spit on it, and it is good. Malone's got six. Defensively, I think they've got to do a better job of bodying them up. Clearly, they've been outclassed in the paint, really at both ends of the floor. Christie, he's checked in for Curry. Raptors trail by 10. Bogues dishes to Davis and stolen by Malone. And here we go. Richardson heading to the hoop. Oh, that's what? And it's out of bounds. The 76ers able to retain possession here. And the 76ers call time here. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Jones up top. He dishes it to Irving. Malone packs the rim at full speed like that, man. It's uh, it's something to behold the way that guy gets to the rim. That Kia slam cam replay really gave you a good look at the action. Now here's Irving. The shot from the low post is good. Irving's got 21. And really, it looks like he may just try to take this thing over on his own and really build that lead up. And it's Davis missing. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Cheeks against Christie. Takes the 13-footer. He has clearly been off the mark. Pass to Christie. 
Let's it go from 11, and he gets the bucket. Christie's got five points so far. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. You know, the defense, Greg, has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. Malone, good. Raptors trail by 12. Irving with the steal. And now the fast break. Irving with the ball. That's his first personal foul. And a moment here to take a look at some of the hustle stats for Philadelphia. Boy, they're hounding, harassing effort at the defensive end. Very impressive. And they forced quite a few turnovers as a result. And I also love what they've done defensively in terms of closing out to the shooters, getting a hand up, just making them feel a little uncomfortable on the offensive end. Willis, he checked in for the Raptors. The 76ers also with a sub. Johnson, he's checked in for Richardson. Yeah, he earned that one. I mean, taking the hit and still able to get that one to go down. Incredible, incredible body control right there. Don't know how he was able to get that one to go, but it sure was a thing of beauty to watch. The Raptors making a switch here. Brown's checked in, but they recover it. McGrady against Irving. He kicks to Malone. Six to shoot. Fades back. Can't hit. And it's the Raptors taking it the other way. Even though he isn't having the best of game from the floor, it hasn't seemed to hurt him. McGrady. And again, no good by Toronto. The 76ers leading by 11. Cheeks the pass to Malone. Mo Cheeks with the great pass there to set him up. Malone's got 10. And that's what they have to do more of. They got a great look out of that possession. I tell you what, what a good thing that he showed up today because without him, this thing would already be over. And Philadelphia has possession. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Cheeks kicks to Jones. He feeds it to Malone. Oh, yes, the turnaround. Malone's got eight points here in this quarter. He's definitely turned things around in this game. I mean, he was more of a background player in the first half. He's jumped center stage now. And it's Brown missing. Boy, but he was close, Kevin, to making the defense pay for lackadaisical coverage there. Yeah, you may not be as lucky next time down if you're the defense. You cannot allow him to get those kinds of looks. McGrady passes to Willis. 11 feet away, and again it's Toronto converting. There's 138 left here in the third quarter. The 76ers leading by 13. Irving kicks to Johnson. Curry's checked in for Toronto. Johnson, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Brown comes in for Jones. Right side Irving. From the baseline, no luck. And Toronto has possession. Curry with it, guarded now by Irving. Three-pointer, and Del Curry gets the three. Curry's got a pair of threes now here in the third for the Raptors. Now the 76ers with it, 10-point lead. To the inside, here's Johnson. Nice pass, nice catch, and a resounding dunk. And, and nobody, guys, among the defenders stepping up to challenge him on that drive to the 10. And, Greg, he says, thank you very much, and <laughs> sails in for the flush. And those are the kind of sequences that tell you why the score is what it is. The edge on this lead. And... Really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. It seems to me they've gone after this win a little bit more. That's a major mental mistake. I mean, there's no other way for me to describe it. He didn't know where he was on the court. That's a that's a that's a basic fundamental. You have to be alert to where you are. Oakley has checked in for Davis. And the 76ers also making a change. Richardson's checked in. Up high and down hard with the one hand. Got a little extra forceful with that one, didn't he? Huh? Yes, sir. Yeah, and I think that's going to rouse up his teammates, no doubt. Raptors trail by 10. 
And here is McGrady. He's got 11. Back to Curry. Johnson with the block. Welcome back as we get set to start the fourth. And out of bounds as Toronto gains possession. A moment now to reset the lineups brought to us by Gatorade. All fueled up here for the fourth quarter. Setting the floor for the Raptors. Kevin Willis out there with Oakley. Then it's Bogues. Then there's Carter. And it's Curry in at the shooting guard position. That'll be a five-second call. And the 76ers making a change here. Jones has checked in. So it's Toronto now. They trail by seven. Here's Bogues. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Malone's got six rebounds here tonight. Solid job by them on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in rebounding. You know what? That rebound has always been a critical element of the game. And that's why they are now understanding how to win. Curry with a wide open look. And misses it off the right side of the rim. The defense there got away with a major lapse. And out of bounds as the Raptors gain possession. Here's Bogues. Pass to Curry. Back to Bogues. To the paint. Here's Willis. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Nothing too fancy, just simple execution. That's getting the job done when they need to make every possession count. Completely agree with that, Clark. They need stops and, and really can't afford any wasted possessions. Those inside shots are nice, high-percentage looks. The Raptors making a switch here. Davis has checked in. Raptors trail by five. We played just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. And it's Carter missing. Carter's gotten only one of his threes to drop for him. He's got five attempts. And they call the eight-second violation. Too much time getting it up court. In the second half, they haven't taken care of the basketball. Simply put, more turnovers now that could hurt them later. Christie, he's checked in for Toronto. Davis with the bucket. Yeah, great post position. That's going to be key here in crunch time. The 76ers leading by three. Sheik's no good. I'm not even going to comment on that. Neither am I. I mean, if you're going to attempt a buzzer beater, I guess I, I will comment. Make sure there's actually a buzzer to beat. Here's Christie. Carter outside to tie it up on his 15th. He makes his ninth basket, shooting a healthy 60% tonight. You know, shooting as well as he has from the floor in the game, this tight guy, you've got to think he's going to be a factor near the end. Now here's Jones. Dishes to Johnson. Puts up the baby hook. He gets hauled in by Oakley. And here's Toronto. They've got a 10 0 run going. Here's Carter. Shakes off the strong D and gets the bucket for two. Carter's got 14 points here in the second half. And really just trying to take the wind out of their sails here, I think. You know, they're on the wrong end of a run and need to just... They can't guard us on the perimeter. Sometimes you just need to stop the bleeding. Things are starting to spiral completely out of control. And um, I think a timeout was a no-brainer there. Doris Burke has some information for us. Doris? Kevin, during that last break, I heard the 76ers coach as he addressed his team. He laid out the X's and O's and told them, we're still alive, guys. We've just got to work together, trust each other, and play our backsides off. Kevin, we'll see if they've got enough in the tank to get over the top. And now we'll get a perspective here on how the hustle game 
has been going for the Raptors. Their defense has been outstanding, closing out on shots and blocking a few as well. Something else they've done is force a lot of mistakes defensively, and they've been turning those turnovers into points. The 76ers trail by four. Screen by Jones. Carter comes in with the double team. And it's out of bounds. The Raptors will take it the other way. And, and that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. Here's Toronto now. Right now on a 14-0 run. Guys, we've seen some excellent offensive output. Yes, sir, fellas. They've had it going on big time. Yeah, great momentum for them offensively. Now, here's Bogues. Outside Oakley. Back to Bogues. Just five on the clock. Bogues missing again. Can't get anything to drop. I mean, the way he's going, it's probably not something he should try and shoot his way out of. <laughs> well, they say you should shoot your way out of it, but his teammates probably have other thoughts in mind. The last thing they want to see him doing is continuing to cast that jumper up. Well, they've been shooting their free throws with confidence and knocking them down. That's giving them an edge. No question about it. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. And that efficiency, Greg, as you know, so critical when you're looking to overcome a deficit. You've got to be close to perfect and can't waste scoring opportunities. He's been anything but his usual self this quarter. It's actually been ugly to see. Here's Irving, and then Irving slams it in. Talk about putting something extra on it. That dunk was way over the top. Close game or not, Clark. You know, he's going to finish firm when he gets the space. I, I'm startled that he would even try something like that at this stage of the game. 76ers trailing. Here's Richardson. The teardrop falls in. That's a precision shot. You've got to be precise. No room for error on the floater. Now, here's Bowes. Raptors moving the ball around. Davis dishes to Bogues. Over to the wing. Shot from 16. And Davis with the basket on the assist by Oakley. And that's now eight points for Davis. And with their hot shooting here in the second half, their field goal percentage over 50% now for the game. Yeah, it's not a surprise then to see them out in front the way they've been efficient offensively in this half and actually throughout the entire game. Here's Christie after Julius Irving's basket. It's tipped and stolen by Irving. And here's the fast break. Richardson leading the way. The dish to Malone. Oakley with some nice D. Oh, excellent interior D to force the miss. His defensive ability is a big factor. I mean, there's no denying that. And the shot is good. 25 points for Vince Carter. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way. Cheeks the pass to Malone. Second chance shot. And it's Toronto with the rebound. Carter's got seven rebounds in the game.